Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of exception handling in C++. Exceptions are issues that surface post-compilation during the execution of your program. That being said, as a programmer, there will be moments when you write faulty code that still compiles. It can be especially confusing to debug a program giving unintended output if it's passing through compilation. For this reason, we have exception handlers in C++ to help create more streamlined code. In this example, we'll write a program that throws a meaningful error when the user tries to divide by zero. Because we all know what happens when you divide by zero, right? Your head explodes. I digress. Let's get to it. So to start, we'll build our basic C++ program, including IOStream, and make sure that it's using the standard namespace. Now within our main function, we're going to want to set the variables for our integers. Uh, we can just do this on one line. This is going to be a simple program. So we'll prompt the user to enter a number. And we'll take in our first integer, x. And then we'll prompt the user to enter another number and then we'll take in the input of y and then we'll set a double to z and we'll make sure to set that equal to zero so here's where we start using the keywords of exception handling what we're going to set up now is a try catch block. Um, so the try keyword identifies a block of code for particular exceptions to be activated. And it's usually followed by one or more catch blocks. So to do this, we'll try And then we'll set z equal to the quotient of uh, our x and y integers. And to do this, we're going to write uh, another function, which will take in, uh, which will output a double. And we'll have this function called division. And this will take in our x and y integers. And then we will display our quotient to the user. So next we're actually going to want to set up our division function, which will take in two integers. And within this, we're going to want to check to see that this number, the second number, the denominator of our function um, isn't zero. And in the case that it is zero, we'll want our program to throw the error of uh, division by zero condition. So we'll write an if statement that checks if b is equal to zero. Now we're going to use our throw keyword. And this throw keyword will throw an exception when the if condition is met. So if b is equal to 0, or if y is equal to 0, we will throw division by 0. And outside of this if condition, we'll have the function return a double of a divided by b, or a slash b. So now we have to complete our try catch block. And to do this, we'll catch a constant and then a pointer to the message. And this is 
syntax for the this area of our code, this throw error, division by zero, is going to be our message that uh, is outputted to the user in the case that they enter zero as a denominator. And then this syntax, C error, message, endl, or end line. I don't know why I call it endl. Uh, maybe because that's what it looks like. All right, so this is the basics of working with uh, error handling. Um, and hopefully when we compile our code and run it, this will all work. So we'll compile our code and we'll run it, enter a number five, enter another number zero, division by zero, we get the correct error. So there we have the uh, foundations of using exception handling in C++. Uh, you can see that uh, everything is built from these three main keywords, throw, catch, and try. Throw throws an exception when the problem shows up. Catch catches an exception with an exception handler at the place in the program where you want uh, your program to handle the problem and it also indicates the catching of the exception. The try block identifies a block of code where the exception will be activated and it's usually followed by the catch blocks creating uh, these try catch blocks. Um, so generally when we're using, uh, when we're coding in computer science, uh, you'll see the throw, catch, and try combination of keywords um, in various different uh, programming languages. And these try-catch blocks are usually referred to as protected code. Um, they're methods that catch an exception using a combination of these try and catch keywords. And so now we can uh, alert the user that they are doing something that is without the range of our program instead of having our program uh, send a, a meaningless error upon the user trying to divide by zero. And there you have it. That's the basics of using exception handling in C++. Thank you for watching.